Flair City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the grocery store to do a video all about buying pork, beef, chicken, and ground turkey at the grocery store because I think there needs to be a little bit of education. There's a lot of choices here in the chill chest. Not all of them are good, and I want you guys buying the best quality beef and chicken and stuff to put in your body. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by a longtime supporter of the channel, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is fantastic because any all-natural, organic, non-GMO stuff you'd normally get at a grocery store like this, you can get on Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper, plus you don't have to leave your house. A box comes to your door, which considering it's getting pretty cold in Chicago, comes in handy. They have this new thing called the price scanner on their app where I can walk around the grocery store, scan products, it'll tell me if it's on Thrive Market for cheaper, or if they don't have it, it'll suggest something different. It's fantastic, but Thrive Market now has some of the best pasture-raised pork, grass-fed beef, and chicken that I've ever seen before. I'm gonna tell you more about it as we go along. But if you click the link in my description box down below, you can get a year-long membership to Thrive Market with a $20 shopping credit. If you don't like Thrive Market after 30 days, you can cancel, you get to keep the shopping credit, but I think you're gonna love it, especially the pork on there because I've been crushing the bacon. That is unbelievable. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Let's start with pork. Come on over here. Buying pork at any grocery store is really, in my opinion, perilous. Why? Because all of the pork in the grocery store is traditional factory farmed pork that eats a strict diet of GMO soy and grain. It's kind of crazy. Pork is not getting any love, y'all, right? Chicken, we can get organic chicken. We can get non-GMO chicken. Beef, we can get organic and grass-fed chicken. We can't get anything remotely like that when it comes to pork. So what do I mean? I pick up these guys right here. These are boneless pork chops. I actually love these because see all that fat? That's marbling. Fat is flavor, just like a steak. This is really good. See this ground pork right here. I love cooking with ground pork because 80-20 beef to fat ratio. This is very fatty and juicy and very hard to uh, overcook or dry out. The problem is, this is all fed GMO corn and soy. We talk about this all the time. When you have a strict feed of GMO corn and soy, not only is the nutritional profile worse than grass-fed or pasture-raised, GMOs are just not something you wanna put in your body. I would never eat GMO pork, meat, or dairy. So that's strike number one. But also strike number two is when you're talking about this kind of pork, it's traditionally the factory farmed kind of pork that never goes outside for the pasture-raised only eats a strict diet of grain. And when you talk about factory farming and you see those pictures of like polluted lakes and streams with all like the poop and stuff like that, it's from factory farming. When you're talking about pasture raised, that never happens. So if I pick up the sausages here, right? You would think it would just be sausages and seasonings, but I turn it around here and I look at the ingredients right here. Corn syrup, GMO corn syrup, more salt, uh, more sugar, natural flavorings, natural flavorings, and nasty preservatives. So that's not the kind of stuff you wanna see in pork. And it gets you, actually gets even scarier if you come over here for a second. The bacon, all the bacon at the grocery store is usually factory farmed, strict GMO feed, never free to forage. The best you can maybe do here at a grocery store like this would be an Oscar Mayer Select because it doesn't have a lot of the nasty phosphates, it actually has a clean ingredient list, which is nice, but once again, it's a strict GMO feed, and this is factory farmed pork. So maybe, we talked about it before, if you can get Applegate, that's great. But let's go back over here, because Thrive Market now works with a pork farm in Georgia called um, uh, White Oak Pasture. It's a family-run farm, it's 100% pasture raised, the pigs get a supplemental feed, get this, of pasture-raised eggs and peanuts, because sometimes the eggs are cracked when they hatch. It's free to forage. They eat acorns, they eat grass. It's non-GMO. It is the best quality stuff. When you click my link in the description box, it'll take you to the pork bundle. You get bacon, you get uh, pork chops, you get Boston butt, you get ground pork, and it's some of the best quality, best tasting pork you'll ever see. So check that out. It's worth the membership alone. Let's talk next about something that doesn't get enough love, ground turkey. I love ground turkey because sometimes you get bored of chicken, you wanna mix it up. The thing is, there's a couple buying principles about ground turkey, right? We look at something like this. This is like a Genio ground turkey. Nowhere does it say organic, 
Nowhere does it say certified humane. So the thing about ground turkey, or turkey farming in general, it can be a pretty dirty business, just like chicken farming. You can shove a ton of turkeys into a turkey house. It can be pretty inhumane, never go outside. The feed is pretty bad. So you want to ideally buy ground organic turkey. I don't see that here at Walmart, but the best you can do is something like this. At least it's harvest land premium meaning it's an all vegetarian diet and no animal byproducts. I'm gonna talk about that with the uh, chickens in a minute. When it says no animal byproducts, it actually is important because the stuff they feed chickens and turkeys can be horrific, like poop and sewerage, right? You don't want that. Here's the interesting thing Art and I always talk about. So come in here. So you can get ground turkey breast like this, but it's 98% lean to 2% fat, or you can get something like this right ground turkey but it doesn't say thigh but it is a mix of mostly thigh and breast look at the color right can we do a little side by side this is a little darker and you can see more fat this is so lean it's like beaming i would highly recommend staying away from turkey breast it has no fat two percent fat the odds of you overcooking this are a hundred percent so even though it doesn't say it and i can't find it anywhere it will always be just a generic ground turkey and so look for that, try to find organic, but you're always gonna see rosemary extract in there. And the reason they do that is not just for flavor, it's a natural preservative. There are a couple people, like I used to buy ground turkey at uh, Trader Joe's, but they used rosemary natural flavors. So I switched over to getting it at Costco actually. But look for organic ground turkey thigh or just ground turkey and compare the color. It's really, really easy. You don't want that breast meat. It's way too lean, it's gonna overcook. When it comes to chicken, you always want to buy the organic. It's really important. We have a whole video just about chicken, and I don't want to spoil that video. You can watch it afterwards. Organic and this seal of USDA organic really means a lot. Some people don't put a lot of weight behind it. To be USDA organic means a lot. If you break the rules, you'll have serious punishment. The reason why you want organic chicken, at least, is because it has a non-GMO feed, right? Chickens always eat grain exclusively, unless it's pasture-raised chicken. So if you're gonna eat grain, you want them to be non-GMO corn and soy. If it's organic, it also says all vegetarian feed, no animal byproducts, and it says free range. Free range is a marketing gimmick. That means nothing. These chickens still never go outside. But these two things mean a lot to me because all vegetarian feed diet, what does that mean? Well, sometimes they feed it animal byproducts and other parts of animals ground up into the feed. And when you see um, no animal byproducts and vegetarian feed, that means they don't put poop. Yes, a lot of times in mass chicken farming, they put poop in there and you don't want that. Chicken farming is very, very bad. They can put 35,000 birds in a hen house. So unless it is organic or certified humane, it's gonna be really bad conditions. Now I wish this one here was certified humane. It's not, but at least it's organic. So get organic chicken, try to find pasture raised chicken. That's even better. I always say life is too short to eat regular chicken because it's just treated really poorly and the diet is really poorly and the nutritional profile is not better for you. So you don't wanna put that kind of stuff in your body. All right, let's move on to beef. All right, last but not least, let's talk about the beef. You guys know how I feel about the beef. It's all about grass fed. Because if you're talking about conventional beef, it's kind of like the same thing as pork. This can be factory farmed beef that only eats a diet of GMO grain, and it's not pasture raised. I mean, the, the essence or the beauty of pasture raised grass fed beef is that it's 100% pasture raised. So when these cattle here are out in the pasture, it's doing a huge benefit to the environment. Why? Because they're mowing the grass and pruning it. They're also stamping water wells down into the ground so water from rain can get in there too. It's better for the farmer because they're not in a mass feedlot and it's better for you. That's most important, right? How is it better for you? Grass-fed beef has higher omega-3 fatty acids and higher conjugated and linoic acids. Very, very good. So even though it's a little more uh, expensive, your body derives more nutrition from it. So they actually have one of the better grass-fed beef uh, selections here at Walmart because if you look at the ground beef here, check this out. They have an 80-20 blend. And it's funny because look at the price on that. It's $5.48 and it's more expensive, $5.98 for the 90-10. So you're actually paying more for leaner beef. I'd much rather pay less for more fat because fat is flavor because with 
uh, grass-fed beef, it tends to dry out a little quicker because it's more lean. So you want that extra fat. A Thrive Market also has fantastic grass-fed beef, 100% grass-fed from Chile. So make sure you check that out on their website. Also, in addition to getting the pork bundle, which I highly recommend, the organic grass-fed uh, ghee from Thrive Market is the best ghee I've ever had. If you make a steak or ground beef or ground pork in that ghee, unbelievable. Um, they also have organic ground beef here that's grass-fed. In this case, there's really no difference. You don't have to pay more because they're both no added hormones or antibiotics. So it really is not a difference here. Now, Art saw this out of the corner of our eye. These big packs right here, right? This is the kind of beef I would not buy, but it's 73% lean. If they had this in grass-fed, that would be amazing. But this is, once again, that factory farmed beef that is GMO-fed not high quality at all. You just don't want that. You really want the grass-fed beef. And then look at this. I just saw this out of the corner of my eye. They now have Beyond Burgers here. The price is really good, you guys. I think it normally is like six or seven dollars at other grocery stores. And this is the new version, the 2.0. And they're, they would try to get marbling in there. So they put cocoa butter and they've actually cleaned up the ingredients and they got rid of a couple bad ones that we talked about in the video from last year or from a few months ago. And now it's just natural flavors is the only bad one. But for what it is, it's actually not bad. It's a meat substitute burger. So it's right under the sign, Arch is pointing out right here for 100% all beef, not so much. So you really want to get grass-fed beef. It tastes fantastic and it's better for you. So that is it. Between pork, ground turkey, ground chicken, and beef, you know what to look for. Use my promo link for Thrive Market down in the description box. For the pork, it is second to none. You're gonna love it. And when you're at the grocery store, Take a look around. You really want to buy the grass-fed, the organic. It makes a huge difference, you guys. So, like, subscribe, square. We're in someone's way right here. Luckily, it's the end of the video. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.